Yo, what's up guys and welcome to the Silent Assassin, Sniper Assassin, suit only for Master Mode on the new mission, the Bank, the Golden Handshake, whatever you want to call it. Mine is Mr. Freeze 2244 and this is going to get you to Mastery Level 12 out of 15 if you do this on Master Mode. We're going to start at the regular entrance, we're going to bring along the Black Leather Briefcase or any briefcase you want to. Have your Silent Sniper Rifle installed in that briefcase you could bring along your classic lockpick and you don't need to bring a weapon but if you have to bring a handgun bring along the custom five millimeter if you don't have that don't bring anywhere bring any pistol along with you at all because we need to get through a frisk zone so from the very start we are going to get spotted by that camera don't worry about it we are taking out the evidence a little bit later on so these cameras don't matter but once we get down these stairs here we're going to throw the briefcase down the bottom of the stairs there's going to be two security guards down there, so one of them is going to eventually take that case away with a sniper rifle in it. We have to get through this frisk zone, that's the reason why I'm doing this. But uh, we need to get to the vault first. We are actually going to retrieve the vault data core instead of the backup data disks. I haven't fully figured out the whole data disk stuff yet. And uh, this strategy is probably not the fastest in the world, but um, it's going to be a strategy that I've found to be quite reliable. So I'm going to use the lockpick on this gate right here. Watch out for the camera, crouch, run through this area, this IT area, and grab that Calmo tranquilizer. This is on that side table there. Use your lockpick on this server room door, and then turn off the, uh, disable the security, which is the one to the right. I'm going to grab that uh, screwdriver from the floor as well. So what we're actually going to do is cause a distraction for a security guard in the security room. He's going to come along, and we're going to knock him out, put him in this crate, and we're going to grab his security card. And we're going to leave the security off as well, because we need to use that for a second distraction of the second security guard. It sounds uh, a little bit more confusing and complicated when I say it like that, but overall it's quite simple and quite easy, and you'll see what I mean. So in the background there, you should see a security guard walking towards our direction with the briefcase in his hand. And that is where we're going to retrieve it in a second. So first of all, go ahead and knock out this, uh, this guard before he turns the security back on. Pick up the security guard and the, the gun that he drops on the floor and then just put his body in the crate. Crouch, run through the IT room again. If you have the custom 5 mil, go ahead and shit, take out the camera. If not, just watch out for the camera on the floor as you go ahead and not pick this door. Either way, you can get past it by just looking at the, uh, the laser grid on the floor. Take out the sniper rifle out of the briefcase and then grab the briefcase. We're going to stay in here for now. Because the, uh, the second security guard is going to come and investigate that momentarily. There we go. So because we left that disabled the security box and we left it off, he is going to come over to investigate that now as well. We need to get him out of the area because uh, we need to get in that security room. And with him gone, there's only going to be two left. So We've already got a key card, so that's nice. Wait for him to go past. Once he does that, crouch run through. Use your key card on the vault area. Enter the security room. Smack the guard in the back of the head with a briefcase, and then throw your briefcase at the other guard. Once you've done that, the other guard drops the key. I'm going to use the key on this little safe right here, this little storage container, and we're going to grab the vault key card out of that. I'm going to drag the body now and hide his body with his friend in the security room. And then we're going to grab the gun that he drops on the floor as well, and then just drop it in the room over here, obviously closing the door behind you. Now we're going to take out the evidence, the cameras. Now you don't have to worry about the cameras whatsoever on this map. We're going to pick up the briefcase and the guard is making his way back to the security room right now as we speak. So once he finally comes back into the security room, we're going to go ahead and take him out too. Leave his body here and then we're going to get into the vault. So as of right now, this is the quickest strategy I've, I've couldn't come up with so far. I've only got two hours of the map knowledge at the moment. So obviously there will be faster ways coming up in the future, but once I get more map knowledge and uh, I'll be sure to share a faster strategy if, if I so come up with one in the future. We used the vault key on that door, that, that key card slot on the corner of the security room after we knocked out the guard, and now we can access the vault door and get inside. Pretty cool. Turn off the laser grid with the card as well, and retrieve the data core. Go ahead and conceal the data core in the briefcase. I'm going to grab a gold bar right as well, because why not? <laughs> if anyone sees you with that rag, 
You don't want to draw a lot of attention to yourself. You can speak for yourself, Diana. So once we've got that now, when we stored it in our briefcase, we are free to run through here. Crouch run, obviously. That's what I meant. Got a crouch run up these stairs. There's going to be a guard to our left up the stairs, so make sure you hug the wall so he doesn't hear our footsteps. If you run regularly, he's going to hear your footsteps, so make sure you're in a crouch run or crouch walk. Once you're at the top here, we're going to turn off this radio and turn it back on. That's going to distract the janitor. We're going to hide in this locker for now. And once he comes over and investigates, we're going to knock him out. The reason why we're doing this is because it's just a lot easier doing it this way rather than sneaking past him. The choice is yours whether you want to do that or not. But I decided to go the safe route and knock him out and get rid of him out of the way. Uh, that way. So we can exit now and knock him out. He drops the janitor key on the floor as well. You can go ahead and grab that. I don't know, don't know where that is for yet. But uh, I'll pick it up anyway. Again, once we've hidden his body, grab the key. We're going to now crouch run all the way down the corridor. Again, staying close to the walls if we can. In this next area, you're going to have a regular person here talking with a security guard. Now, if they're in this position for you, go ahead and enter this room here. If they're in a different position, just wait for them to get in that position before you enter the room. Once you're in the room, we're going to keep the door open as we throw a distraction in here. The other guy will send the guard in to investigate it. I threw the gold bar in the room. Now we're going to go ahead and knock him out. And put his body in the locker. We're going to pick up all the stuff that he dropped on the floor. The gold bar and the, the gun. Again, picking up our briefcase. Now this guy outside. Now we're actually going to wait for him to move back over to the other area. So we can just walk past him. Alternatively, you can knock him out and put him in the locker as well if you want to. It's completely up to you. But I decided to just by bypass him just like that because it's not necessary to knock him out. Once we're up here, this can be a tricky area. But uh, if you follow what I'm doing, this should be fine. Now, you're going to have two guards in this room here. This guard on the left is going to be walking up to his drink and then walking to the table to the left. And then walking to the guy next to the guy sitting down. Now, we could have went through there straight away, but I wanted to make sure we have plenty of time to make through the, make it through this area, as it can be a tricky room to get through. Once he's finished drinking his water, he's going to move back over to the walls of the other guy, and that's when we're going to crouch run through this room as fast as we can. Now, that suspicious meter in the, in the distance there was a guard in the corridor, but as long as you're fast enough, he will never spot you, so don't worry about it. But once we're through that door, we're now on the same floor as our target. If I was you, I'd recommend making a save here. You're only allowed one in mastery mode, but uh, just make sure you drop a save here if you want to make sure that you get this done. We're going to sneak around here and use the keycard to get in through this door. And now in this room here is going to be three guards. One of them is going to be following her around. One of them is going to be standing next to the clock. He's always going to be standing there. And the other dude is going to be standing next to the pillar. She's going to be on her phone right now. We're just going to drop that briefcase behind that sofa. And we're just going to wait behind this chair right here. And pull out our tranquilizer. Once she's finished with her phone call conversation. She is going to walk away in that door to opposite to us. With her bodyguard. And while they're, while they're gone. We're going to take out the two guards in the room with his tranquilizer. And quickly hide the body before she comes back in. And that is the way we're actually going to get her. It's very easy, so don't worry about it too much. But like I said, you can make a save a little bit earlier. Or if you haven't done it yet, make the save now to make sure you can get this done. Because you, this is, At this point, you don't want to mess up because it's a long time of getting back to this position. Now, when she walks away and you want to go ahead and you tranquilize the, the guy in the front of us, you have to need to make sure you do this pretty quickly because the guy in the distance to our right, he is going to turn around. So you just need to make sure you do this quickly. So now, and then quickly reload, shoot him before he turns. Now, even if he sees the other body, it doesn't really matter too much because you're tranking him anyway. But as long as he doesn't spot you, you're, uh, you should be, you should be good to go. We're going to drag both of these bodies into the crate. And then obviously pick up the gun that he drops on the floor as well. And both of these bodies are going to be nice and hidden. You should have plenty of time to do this, by the way. Don't worry about rushing too much. Once we're in this area, we're going to hide behind this curtain. The target's going to come back 
into this area where we are now. She's going to be waiting here for a few seconds. And then she's going to move off into the room we just came from. The guard takes a while for her to, for him to actually move himself. So we're actually going to take that opportunity to knock him out here. And then snipe her on the way back. So we're going to exit just as you just exit in the room. Once she's got a fair distance, a distance where you're comfortable, you know that she isn't going to hear. Just go ahead and subdue the dude and then leave his body there. You don't need to hide him or anything like that. Grab the key he drops on the floor. Use the key on this door. And grab the CEO exit key card that's on the table. Now, the only fun thing we need to left to do now is uh, grab this gun on the floor. And then uh, wait behind the sofa. She's going to come back in this room momentarily. And we're going to pull out our sniper rifle in preparation. And then once she comes back in the room and the door's closed, sniper her anytime you want to. Take her out. And once you've done that, uh, we can leave the sniper rifle there. We don't need it anymore. Just retrieve the briefcase and head to the exit. That is completely done. We don't need to hide a body. But we are going to head to the exit. The only person you need to watch out for now is the receptionist. So I would advise hugging the wall here and then just doing a change cover position there. So even though he briefly sees you there, he doesn't fully spot you. And because we got that exit CEO exit key card, we can exit right here. And that will end our mission for the silent assassin, suit only, sniper assassin. And you'll get multiple... Uh, You'll get multiple challenges completed for that because it will tick off the casual, professional, and master mode. When I first did this, the sniper assassin didn't pop up. It's because the target saw me knock out one of the guards. Even though it doesn't affect silent assassin, that still affects sniper assassin apparently. So I had to redo this. But you will see all of these being ticked off, including the silent assassin suit only. I've already done that as well. So there's a confirmation of that. And you'll see your mastery level just go straight up. I've already got to mastery level 8. That's without the sniper assassin. But once you've gone through all of these things. You'll get to mastery level 12 at least. As long as you've done exactly what I've done here. If you want me to upload uh, a separate strategy for professional mode in the future. Just let me know in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on this mission that you've, uh, you've seen so far. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much going to do it for this video. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. Um. I could have made three videos out of this, to be honest, and um, I probably should have, but at the end of the day, I try to make it convenient and just push it all into one video. So hopefully you can appreciate that. Hopefully this has helped you out. Subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. There's more challenges to come. Drop a like in the video if it helped you out. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or the link in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next Back the Bank video. Cheers.